set that just came out uh, called uh, This Time the Rebellion Weeps and the Slow Restless Agony and this is one of our songs it's called uh, Bad Song.
right, thank you. Uh, the name of our band here, we're called the Little Wretches. And uh, I know some people would wonder why you would call yourself that. And basically because that's what we are. We're, we're like, we're magnets for the uh, unwashed. And uh, of course, now that we're old and, and fat, except for Mike, you know, we might not look so unwashed. But uh, one, once upon a time, I was down at a, a fast food restaurant in Oakland, and uh, this panhandler came up to me and took a liking to me and promised that he wouldn't ask me for money, but he gave me panhandling lessons. He said, if you go out there, you get this expired bus pass, and you stand on the corner, and everybody that comes up, you say, my bus pass just expired, I need to get home, you think you could lend me some money. But if you ask for dimes, it takes 10 people to give you a dime before you can make a dollar. If you ask for quarters, only four people before you have a dollar. But if you ask for dollars, you'll still get dimes and quarters, but you'll also get dollars. And so always ask for big money. Sage advice. Yep. <laughs> so uh, this, this, is, this, is, this song is a monologue from, from one of those uh, a homeless kind of guys that, that used to befriend us. There's a penny heads down in the urinal There's bad luck at the fast foods today There's free refills on coffee and some fionnol And I'm sticking my thumb out in the rain Seems like the bar light shining bright on the south side Seems like this rain's been coming down now for a year there's bitter ends of senses left unspoken and inside there's this fear The people out there, they treat you real nice You're greeted at the door by a veteran Who had both his legs blown off trying to save Insult you, not like these night cops around here. I see them staring at me like I'm some kind of like I'm some kind of Iranian or something. I can't even drink my coffee in peace. They're saying, get out, you dumb, you communist. The heads down in the urinal. There's bad luck in the fast foods today. There's free refills on coffee and some fuel all Then I'm sticking my thumb out in the rain Well, Brooks Robinson never treated nobody like that There's always food, plenty of hot coffee Even if you couldn't pay, you didn't even have to be a vet Rain's been coming down now for a year. There's bitter ends of senses left unspoken, and inside there's this fear. Hey, will you watch my chili dog while I go get another coffee? Sure. This is all the money I've got. Free refills on top. 
the ants of your arm. When I'm sticking my thumb out in the rain, seems like the bar line shining bright on the south side. Seems like this rain's been coming down now for a year. This better lens of senses left unspoken. I know that didn't sound like a punk rock song, but that was one of the first punk rock singles that was released in Pittsburgh. It was written by a friend of mine named John Creighton.
All right, Susan's going to sing a song here. This is derived by a, a, out of a poem from Bertolt Brecht uh, when uh, he was living through Nazi Germany. He asked, uh, in the future, they're not going to look back and say, why were times dark? In the future, they're going to look back and ask, why were the poets silent?
72-year-old woman who goes to Mass every morning. I'll be saying to everyone who asks, Hey buddy, spare a quarter. No man, spare a dime. Well, let's take it to spare a dollar. Spare a dollar would we'll change the song. Hey buddy, can you spare a dollar? To the help wanted sections of the Pittsburgh Press at a newsstand on Smithfield Street. I'll be your mirror, reflect what you are, in case you don't know. I'll be a bad cola can rattling down the street.
that inside you're twisted and unkind. Let me stand to show that you are blind. Please put down your hand.
almost everywhere I've been When I ask him, damn it, answer me What have I done to earn this? He smiles and takes another of my friends Sometimes I get the feeling I've been tethered And a circle is the only path I'll know Nice to be 
segregated Then everybody is the same You know who your friends and your enemies are You know why everyone Mike Madden on drums, John Carson on bass, Susan Rollich on vocals, Chuck Parrish on uh, guitar, and uh, my name is Robert Wagner, and we do have uh, CDs out, so if you wanted to remember this music forever, is that the last song you're telling us to get out of here? Oh, we believe we, we could go all night, so. But anyhow, we're still going to do our closer. This is, uh... Mistake in the liner notes of our, of our CD, and I just assumed that I'd written all the songs, and I forgot that this was on there. And believe me, I didn't write this song. And a lot of people think it's a Johnny Cash song, and he didn't write it either. Some people credit it to Lead Belly. So uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm I'm going with. I think according to the publishers of the world, Hootie Ledbetter wrote this song. Maybe wrong. I know you're gonna miss me when I'm 
still seems that's the way it's always been. The light that shines on me is no more than a dim. I've been sitting still so long, my joints are getting scared. cigarettes or, uh, or anything like that. It's when they turn on all the lights to announce the shopping season has begun. Uh, I think they call it sparkle season, not shopping season. But uh, we're going to be down there uh, at some coffee house on Liberty Avenue, right across from the Pegasus, which is, uh, for those of you who don't know, a place where they wear a lot of purple. And uh, supposedly, there's, all, there's a place around the corner called, uh, well, I don't know what it's called anymore, Club Elite. It's one of those strip, strip joints. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, it's and now it's called Club Elite. It's a strip place. And supposedly all the strippers come to La Prima and like drink coffee and eat dinner in their regular clothes. And you'd never know that they were strippers with clothes on, except for they have really expensive shoes. Yeah, it's very expensive. Are they really hot? Are they really hot? I'm sure. And, They're big fans of ours, too. <laughs> They're yeah, they're always there. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> That's extra. Okay, uh, 
Susan went snooping through her neighbor's yard to steal wind chimes so that she could, she could uh, play her wind chimes on this song. But this is a song called Halloween, which of course has, has very little to do with the actual holiday of Halloween, except for uh, there was a kid and he asked his mother if he could go out for Halloween and she told him no, because uh, he was too young. He said, well, when will I be old enough? She said, when you're six years old, you'll be old enough to go out for Halloween. So when he turned six, he had his costume all planned out. He was going to dress up like a pirate and a you know, sword and a little patch over his eye and like a striped shirt with a P on the front. A little autobiographical thing? No, no, absolutely not. And then, uh, and then his mother had this tremendous religious conversion, decided that Halloween was the devil's holiday and she didn't want to go, let him go out because if he went out, his, uh, his soul would be lost. And he was so angry with his mother that he never trusted her again because she lied to him once. How could he ever trust her again? And all through his life, he made the mistake of not believing people. He became cynical at the age of six and uh, learned things the hard way for all time. And that's what this sort of song is about. Jump right in. Now I feel just like a phantom, lost and rattling my chains. 
But you're the one who drove me out and sent me on my way You're the one who drove me out and sent me on my way Oh, oh, Stuff off the stage and get him up here.